So first of all, what do you think about kids? Kids, kids, blessings, good blessing. Yeah, I think it's the best. It's the best thing ever happened to to family. It has been. This is why. This is, I think why 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 human human exist. Well, I think it has had some success. So I would first of all say our birth rate is not falling. It has stabilized. <laughs> I mean, it has. It was falling for a long time, but it's been where it is now for the last four or five years. So I would count that to the efforts which we have been making to prevent it from falling further. Um, but it's not enough, and we need to try and push it up a little bit more. feel it's good to have at least two kids. Right. If you have only one, it's, it's going to be very lonely for the, for the kids. Yeah, when we had the first one, yeah. the big one, our Jessica, and then we think maybe maybe we have another one uh, in, in three years. In three three years. years. But as an accident. Accidentally, it happens earlier. So, <laughs> of course, with the two kids, it's going to be challenging because a lot of the time will have to be dedicated to the kids. So you have to push yourself to really you know, think and work more efficiently and uh, really have the balance, balance life and, uh, and work, family and work. So, 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 so I think to us it's, it's a progression, uh, it's a progression, it's moving forward. Yeah. You know, low fertility is uh, a combination, a result of a combination of different reasons. Um, the age structure, for example, how many people are in the childbearing age. That's one factor. How many people are getting married? And then of those who get married, uh, how many people are having birth? I think for all of those, we're all in a declining um, trend. So that's why fertility is low. Low for the throat, low for, as we talked about, it's, it's a combination of also economic development and people's mindset. The policy, I think of most of the countries, Singapore has done quite a bit. Uh, they have this cash benefit of baby bonus, and then they have, and then they have child development fund, they have uh, four months of maternity leave, now they have one week of fraternity leave and all that. It's very hard to distinguish and segregate which part of the effect is coming from the public policy and, and um, not social economic development. So this people this people's money is completely um, wasted because fertility isn't uh, coming up very far, but there's also people who have said if we didn't have this policy, it would have gone even lower. It's going to take a very, very long time but we should get closer to replacement level and there are things which we can do. I personally think that um, these policies are uh, effective, although haven't been very effective yet. Uh, I, I think it would have gone, fertility would have gone further without it. Uh, there are other things that the country could do yet. Uh, but I really think these policies, if you any places want to increase fertility these days, it has to be quite a large investment of um, both uh, in terms of the financial incentives, but also in uh, improving the gender equity. Joy of your first child brings to you will be much more, will be is something that is the best of, uh, of your life and uh, every parent enjoys the babies of course there are some stress you have to handle there are things you have to adjust but the process of uh, adjust to the new life with a baby is uh, it, it's, it's something meaningful to your life where you will gain your wisdom there whether you will become a better person so as a family it's a uh, 
it's not only for you to give love. The meaning of the childhood family is more like he come to complete to complete your life, to complete your family. You know, and once you have the child, you understand a lot of the things that you you don't understand before. Now I understand that he loves me better because because I know how much I I I love my babies, and Li will never understand how much we love him. So yeah, let's. That's pretty much of it. Wait, so which country are you from? Singapore. I'm from France. France. Yeah. India. India. Uh, Hong Kong. From Hong Kong. Uh, no. We're British, but we've been here for 14 years. I'm half Korean, half Chinese. New Zealand. Shanghai. How old are you? Three. 23. Is this 28? It's 26. 26. Uh, 22? Uh, 40. 26. I'm 16. I'm 28. 33. Do you have a kids now? No, no, no. 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 Are you married? No. I see. Uh, would you guys planning to have another baby or something? No. 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 We're happy with one. Do you heard of the term uh, family planning? Um, yes, but it may differ from place to place. What do you mean by that? Yeah, but like, I don't really know what it means. Sort of, yeah. Then how long have you been in Hong Kong? Not really, because I don't really do family plan planning, do we? <laughs> So what is your vision on having kids? Like what age do you want to have a kid? Um, at least 25 and above. 25 and above. Yeah. One day. Uh, I think you must have, a, have at least one child. Everyone's getting old. Having kids. I, I hate kids. <laughs> in the future, well, yeah, kids are fun, I guess. <laughs> are you aware of the decreasing birth rate in your country? Uh, no. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't think there's any support. I don't think there's any encouragement to have more no, children. There's no incentive to there's have no more children. There's no incentive in Hong Kong. There's to no have incentive more to. No, and also it's very expensive. Um, high standard of, high cost of living, yeah. and um, the high standard of high expectation of like your significant other. Uh, more time to do uh, more things, experience more, so you have less time for the family. Have children later. At okay. Cost of living, they can reduce the cost by having daycare available, which are highly subsidized rates and all this. Living, uh, living costs are really high in Hong Kong, especially like education and property. So obviously, any sort of initiative is going to help. Anything that can help mothers, um, whether it's providing places for them to go or like PSAs and um, like campaigns on making people more aware about kids. Um, schooling, I know, is a big issue here. <laughs> I don't think there needs to be any more babies in the world, to be honest with you. I think there is enough people in the world already. We've got unless a lot. There's, unless there's a clear requirement that we need to have more people, which I've yet to see any evidence of, then why, why force the issue? The decline in population, yes, it'll decline to a certain point, but then maybe naturally it'll just level out. But there's also places in the world like India and China where there's, they're starting to increase the birth rate. So it might not be that Germany or England or Hong Kong is having more children, but in the world there are definitely enough children. It might just be that they're being born in different countries. Many are unable to have children as they're at an economic disadvantage. Government should increase financial support to families, focus more on housing issues such as prioritizing families that apply for public housing or negotiate to lower costs of private housing. Tax reduction should be provided for families proportional to the number of children they have. There should be an increase in the flexibility of working hours of companies and make offices more family friendly. Companies should provide more stay-at-home jobs for new parents so that they can take care of their children and still be able to do their jobs. More programs and seminars should be held to raise awareness on the issue and its gravity and to allow the public to be more aware of any new incentives from the government to families.